soils touch on every aspect of life. From the food that's on our plates, the clothes we're wearing on our back, the shoes on our feet. We might walk in the park, stroll through the woods, we might play football, or we might enjoy a glass of beer. It all comes back to soil. The thing that you really start to understand about soil is that it's a living organism and it needs to be treated as such. It's no different to us. It's carbon-based, it breathes, it needs water, it needs food, it needs shelter. And once you start to look after the soil and treat it as a living organism, it can give so much back. Healthy soils bring us benefits beyond just agricultural production. Healthy soils can also help protect our water courses and water sources from pollution. They can even ensure we have clean, unpolluted air to breathe. Growing a nature-positive food future starts with the soil. Whether we want to capture carbon or produce crops, or whether we want to increase biodiversity or focus on water management. It's important in the future that we use fertilizers and nutrient solutions in a complementary manner with the soil's natural fertility. An analysis helps us do that. At Yara Pocklington, we're investigating increasingly how we can complement the natural fertility of soils, but at the same time ensuring high quality and high yields of essential foods. The results of that analysis are fed back to the farmer and the knowledge within that information allows them to make very precise management decisions around crop productivity. We know that part of having a healthy soil means a balanced availability of nutrients to the crops that we grow. So there is a direct link between having a healthy soil and healthy food.